Hello everyone. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. It's see me, Dr. Nubia Agata. You're welcome. We pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we pray for a greater mathematical experience in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, in this video, we are going to solve problems involving log reading. Let us look at them and see how we can apply those laws we learned in solving them. Okay? Number one question says evaluate this. Evaluate 27, log 27 in base 3. Okay? Log 27 in base 3. In base 3. Let it be equal to x. Let log 27 in base 3 be equal to x. So we find the value of x. Okay? From definition of log reading, this means that 3 raised to the power x will be equal to 27. This leads you to, leads you to initial equation. So you find out that you can make them to have the same base because 27 is 3 raised to the power 3. 3 raised to the power x equal to 3 raised to the power 3. Therefore, x is equal to 3. Good. I, I, log of cube roots of 512 in base 2. Cube roots of 512 in base 2. Now, let the log of this be equal to x. Let it be equal to x. Let's, let's use that method. If it's equal to x, what it means is, is that 2 raised to the power x is equal to cube root of 112, which is a, sorry, 512, which is 512 raised to the power 1 over 3. Okay? Now, 512 raised to the power 1 over 3 is equal to, convince yourself that is 8 raised to the power 3. And so you have 1 over 3. If I say convince yourself, it's just the normal uh, thing you do. Begin to divide by 2, if you like. And this divide this, you have uh, 2 remaining 1. 1 divides uh, this 11. You have uh, 5 remaining 1. So we have uh, uh, 5 remaining 1. That's 12. You have 6. Continue like that. Continue like that. Having done that, you will see that you have this as what? 8 raised to the power 3. Okay? Good. So this is equal to 8. We have this equal to 8. And 8 you can change to base 2. This is what? 2 raised to the power 3. Therefore, x is equal to 3. All right. Now, look at the second problem. Given that log 2 in base 10 is equal to this, log 3 is equal to this, log 5 is also given. You have to evaluate log 6 in base 10. You have to evaluate log 6 in base 10. Now, log 6 in base 10 is equal to 6, 6 is 2 times 3, okay? So, and uh, the value of this is given, log 2 is given, log 3 is given. So, use that. This is a uh, log 2 times 3 in base 10. Applying your log is equal to log 2 in base 10 plus log 3 in base 10. So, we add, we add. Using what we have here, log 2 in base 10 is equal to 0 0.3010. Log 3 in base 10 is equal to 
zero point four seven seven one. So we add addition we have zero plus one is one, one plus seven is eight, zero plus seven is eight seven, three plus seven three plus four is seven. Okay, zero. Okay, so we have that log six in base 10 is equal to 0 0.7781. You are done. Log 0 0.2 in base 10. Log 0 0.2 in base 10. You have log 0 0.2 in base 10. Whatever you see this, I think the best thing to do is to change it so that you you will have a, a proper fraction, and you have it as a log of two over ten in base ten. How did I get two over ten? Zero over two, zero point two times one is the same thing. I choose my one to be ten over ten. So I multiply here. I have a 10 times this is uh, 2. Why this 10 times 1 is uh, 10? So that's how I got this. All right. Now, this is the same thing as uh, what? This is equal to, remember your division, is, you, are, you are dividing. So it is what? Log of 2 in base 10 minus log of 10 in base 10. All right? So we have that as uh, equal to log of 2 in base 10, 0 0.3010 minus 1. Okay? Convince yourself that it will be minus 0 0.699. Okay? Good. That's minus. You have 0 0.3010 minus 1. So you have this. And that settles it. That is for this. Good. Now let's look at the number 3 here. Log 35 in base 10 minus log 17.5 in base 10. Okay. We have this equal to using our law is log of 35 over 17.5 in base 10. Okay? Now, this is the same thing as log of 35 in over 175. Exactly. So if you like, you do the division here, but let's just take let's just take it to that length. And you have 35 can divide this, you have a log divide this f one. Divide 175 is 5. So you have 5 times 10 in base 10. This is equal to log. Okay, for that division, 5 divides this, you have 2. So that is log 2 in base 10. And that gives us a 0 0.3010 as given. That is the value is given. So use the value given to you. All right, now let's look at number three. Simplify log 56 in base 2 plus 32 in base 2 minus log 224 in base 2. Use your log, okay? Mm, addition, so this is log 56 times 32 that's taking care of this 
using your law. In base two, remember, whenever the base is given to you, pay attention to it. But when it is not given, then you take it as a natural base. Now, minus log two two four. This is this in base two. We can do this because they're in the same base. So you have this is equal to log of five fifty six times thirty two over two two four in base two. All right. Observe that fifty six can divide two two four. Fifty six. Divide itself is 1. And if you divide 2 to 4, it is 4. You can divide it small, small. Divide it by 2 and so on so that you get this, okay? All right. Now, we have 32. You can further division, okay? Further division. 2 divide this is 2. Uh, 2 divide this is 16. So, you can divide, okay, as 4. 8, or rather, 8. You have eight. So what we have here is a log eight in base two. Log eight in base two. And what is log eight in base two? What power will you raise two to get eight? Is what power three. Power three. So we have seen that this now is this entity here is equal to 3. Okay. So, I thank you once again for being part of us. I encourage you, please, to encourage me by subscribing to my channel. Like, view, share. Okay. I pray for greater experience in Jesus' name. Amen.